Hi, welcome to this introductory video which provides a beginner's guide to using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is a powerful application that can be used for creating documents such as research papers, memos, resumes, flyers, brochures, and so on. When you start Microsoft Word, you will be given a similar view such as what you're seeing on the screen. You have various templates that can be used such as what was mentioned, memos, cover letters, resumes, and so on. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking at using your blank document option and so I'll go ahead and click on blank document. One of the first things that you want to do to get started is to look at the Microsoft Word environment. We'll be looking at the menu options that we have and we'll be looking also at the different groupings on each of the ribbon found within each menu item. And we can start with your home ribbon. We're currently in your home menu, as you can see here. Uh, you will also notice that you have various groupings on your ribbon. For example, here you can see the grouping for all the different uh, features that you can find in your font section and in your paragraph section as well you have different features uh, related to uh, your paragraph such as you have your alignment you have your spacing options etc and over here uh, you have your styles option which allows you to perform uh, various or create various styles uh, for different segments of your document, for example, headings and subheadings, etc. Now, in our insert menu, you will find various objects that can be utilized in your Word document. Uh, these may include pictures, um, you have shapes, icons, charts, and over on the far right, you have options for header, footer, page numbers, text boxes, date, uh, symbols, etc. In your design menu option, you have various options related to um, the feel and look of your or layout of your page. To the far left, you have the themes option which allows you to apply a particular theme that will change the look and feel of your font, color, etc. of your document. You also have, if we go to the far right, options for page color, watermark, and also page borders. In the layout menu on the ribbon, we have various options for uh, the layout of your page and you can see margins, orientation, page size, for example, letter size, legal size, etc. Uh, you can also apply columns. For example, if you're doing a newsletter or a brochure, uh, you can choose to use more than one columns. There are also options for breaks, line numbers, and also paragraph spacing and indentation as well. In your references menu, you have a number of different options to work with here uh, based on, let's say, creating a research paper or a document to be submitted uh, by your or to your instructor you have table of contents you can generate a table of your uh, contents page you can also 
choose to add footnotes and endnotes in your documents and uh, you have references option in terms of styling so if you want to choose APA style versus MLA you can do that right here uh, there's also a number of other options as it relates to uh, your citation that you can see there uh, usually mailings option gives you the option to uh, create labels for let's say if you're going to uh, send an, a mail in the post or something uh, you have that option to add labels here and uh, in your review menu there are many different options here for reviewing your documents such as spelling and grammar to the far left uh, you also can add comments and uh, you can make changes to the document or if you're asked to review a document you can suggest changes and those can be accepted or rejected and there are many other options we have here for example in your view menu we have different options for viewing your your document we have your read mode print layout and web layout options uh, currently by default you will have that in print layout but you can always choose to change your view based on your preference read mode allows you to if for example you're reading a document and you want to do that intuitively uh, you can see that option gives you a more intuitive feel uh, web layout is more for if you are publishing document on your web on the web you can actually uh, see how that will look ahead of time and there are other options here for zooming your document uh, which you also have at the bottom of your document here to the bottom right uh, you can see options for zoom you can zoom in clicking on the plus sign here or zoom out by clicking on your minus sign or symbol and uh, of course you can also choose the option for help in case you need additional help in terms of how to use Microsoft Word tell me what you want to do option here beside help uh, allows you to easily find an option for example spelling and grammar um, and if you don't know exactly which menu item it will actually allow you to do that right here you can just click on spelling and grammar but there is nothing that we have in our document currently uh, to spell alright we're going to go back to home sweet home and uh, we're gonna type something so we can show you how to enter text and also how to edit text and this is very simple and intuitive you simply just type on your keyboard computers are fun and interesting and of course you have you have to highlight your text before you can do any formatting uh, to your text so we can just simply click here and drag to highlight uh, that is one way or you can simply double cl triple click should highlight everything in your paragraph this is one paragraph uh, double clicking highlights only a word at a time but triple clicking highlights the entire paragraph so you could do that and there's something interesting that you'd notice once you highlight here any text you notice you have your mini toolbar here that appears uh, for you to utilize any one of these um, frequently used formatting simple formatting features such as bold italics underline etc you also have your font option uh, you also have your uh, font size option here and additional options bulleted list uh, styles etc 
that you can utilize. So you can actually do that here from your mini toolbar or you can go ahead uh, to your ribbon in the home menu to do that as well. So in this case, if we're going to a ribbon, uh, we can apply in our font segment, we have all the options here to format our font. And also in the paragraph segment here, we can apply any one of these. Currently the alignment is left. If we want to change the alignment of our paragraph to center, we can click on the option here for center. Uh, there is something very interesting to note as well. Microsoft Word gives you hints or clues. So once you move the mouse pointer over any particular icon, for example, uh, the alignment option here for center, uh, Word actually gives you a little tip or a clue to say what this icon does or what this command uh, actually allows you to do. So we can go ahead and click on center and that is uh, centered. Uh, we can go ahead and apply bold. You can change the font. In this case we're going to change the font to Verdana and you can increase the font size as well. And you can do this both ways. You can actually select from the list here or you can actually type in a particular value for font size and press enter on the keyboard. Uh, the same thing for your font as well. If you know the font you're looking for, you can always type Times New Roman, press the enter key, and that will automatically change. Right? You can apply any one of these simple formats, and that should be that should be okay. So we can actually also insert. This is inserting text, but we can actually insert a picture here. And so if we go to our insert menu, we have uh, various options for uh, inserting pictures. We have the option picture, which allows you to insert a picture from your computer. So if you have some uh, pictures or photos that are stored on your hard drive, then you can actually do that. Um, if you don't have pictures that are stored on your computer, you can go to the online pictures option and then you can you can uh, search for a picture or a photo. So we're going to choose here computer and uh, once you do a search of that you'll find out that you have a number of different uh, options to choose from here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and um, select. You can just select one or if you want more to insert more than one items, you can do that as well. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and select this computer here and you have the option for insert and we're going to click on insert and we now have our picture inserted. So there are, there are lots of things that you can do here with your uh, inserted picture. You can in your picture tools option here at the top of your this is your toolbar you can see the option here for format and if you notice on the ribbon for your formatting option you have a number of picture styles these are picture styles option and what word does is it gives you a live preview so once you move the mouse pointer over you're able to see uh, the various um, how your styles will affect your picture um, even before applying that. So this is pretty cool. So you can go ahead and choose any one of these picture styles that you so desire. And you can go ahead also and look at additional options here for correctness over on the in your adjust for adjustments, making different adjustments in your adjust grouping or section. You can see options for corrections. So if you don't like, you know, the sharpness or um, the brightness, you can always change uh, that using these various options you have for uh, brightness and contrast. You can also choose to recolor if you don't like the color of your icon or your photo. You can do that as well. 
and uh, there is even artistic options here for you to be able to have some fun with your picture all right but we're not going to apply that today so we we can choose to add a border here if we go back to your picture styles option okay we can choose to apply a border and you have several colors that you can choose from and uh, after applying your color you can also go back to change the weighting that is the thickness of the border so the bigger the points here is the thicker the border will be and you can apply that if you so desire and there are additional effects that you can apply here in your picture effects option if you want to have some reflection there uh, we can add that as well to our picture and uh, something else to note we have sizing handles and these are what we have here these little dots that you're seeing circular dots on your on the borders of your picture uh, you can use these to resize your picture and uh, this one is your diagonal option it will resize the height as well as the width if we choose the horizontal here it will only choose to resize horizontally and same with your vertical only vertically uh, we also have your rotational handle so what if we want to rotate this we can do it like manually here okay and um, there is always an undo button just in case you make uh, you did something that you don't you know you don't want to keep that change you can undo by going to your quick access toolbar this area at the top left is known as your quick access toolbar and you have all the different uh, things that you may frequently use like for example save option you can see the diskette here and notice also you're seeing the shortcut keys so this is pretty cool uh, because oftentimes you may want to know what's the shortcut to do a particular task and this is given here as well so we can go ahead and click on the undo option or use the shortcut control Z and uh, once you have done that you will see your image as you had it before now something else that you can note is your move handle you can use this handle to move your 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 picture or your photo however uh, we're going to format this object before we actually start moving it we're going to right click and go to the option for wrap text and we're just going to wrap this I'm going to wrap this behind text here you can choose any one of these options we're going to choose the wrap behind text and um, I'll be able to move that image behind my text here okay so this is what it does behind text so I hope that we have learned something from this video and so we have come to the end of this introductory video and uh, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and you can leave a comment as well